Hi, I'm at the North American Fighter Kite Association website, fighterkites-na.com. You can see it right here. And when you go there, this is the home page. There is a really interesting and new addition on flying and aerial games. Just click on that link and it will take you to this page. And in the document archive, the very first one is called Fighter Kite Terminology. And this is a document created by one of the North American Fighter Kite Association members, a fellow by the name of Gary Lyons. And he did a fabulous job of something that no one else has really done and uh, in such a clear way. He has defined the terms and the definitions of the most commonly used lingo around fighter kites and has all the definitions. But in addition, he added a list of all the links for various resources for learning more about North American fighter kiting. And then he describes and shows different fighter kites from around the world. Different cultures use different shapes and it's interesting. And uh, he included that. And look at this. North American fighter kite defined all of the parts, all of the aspects of a North American fighter kite for someone who isn't that familiar with some of the lingo and they're listening to somebody talk about North American fighter kiting and they happen to mention the upper bridle yoke, what the heck does that mean? Well, it's right here, shows you. Right there, that loop right there is the bridle yoke. In addition to this, he has shown how to make three knots. And with these three knots and no others, you could get by with making a North American fighter kite and uh, make all the knots that were required and they would be secure and function just like they're supposed to be. And those are the three primary knots. And then he goes on to this. This is really cool. The wind window. This is often discussed, the wind window. Well, what the heck is it, number one? And graphically, he shows how the wind on the kite changes its force as the kite moves from the right to the left center of the flyer. Here's the flyer. And as the kite moves to his left or her left, you can see that the wind force is decreased. So, and the same as if it goes up above. And of course, behind the kite flyer, there is no wind and so, or no wind acting on the kite. <clears throat> so uh, this area here, usually the kite cannot fly in at all. There are some occasions where you can get it to fly behind you, but it takes quite a skilled flyer and very light wind for that to happen. So I wanted to introduce you this to this because uh, you can download it doesn't cost 10 cents <laughs> and uh, enjoy learning the details that may previously been a little bit foggy for you in terms of understanding. So please go there and take full advantage of us. It's a really fabulous document.